What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee in today's test drive, the 1978 Gutless. This one has the belief to be 260. Under the hood. A little bit of a sweet belt there, don't we? They just need to tighten it up a hair. What we're gonna do is take it down the road, point out any kind of flaws, that way we know exactly what we're getting here. I want you to show up, know everything about these cars. That's why I make these videos and give you 100 detailed pictures, which is located at maplemotors.com. Don't forget, we do have financing and shipping available on every car on the lot. And of course, every Monday, new inventory. We'll keep that coming for you as long as we can, as long as we can find the cars. With that being said, hit subscribe. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. What a couch. Before we take off, I like to look around the interiors. And this one right here is in awesome shape. Look at the seats in this thing. Very comfortable. It's like big graham crackers. <laughs> Huge pillow top, cushions, headliner, package tray. Everything looks great. Even the light there is in good shape. Look across passenger door, that carpet in this thing, the dash. How it starts, it's very quiet. The buzzer works. Showing 62,000 miles, and you know what? That could very possibly be true. This car is looking to be all original. Wipers work, horn. Place your bets. You think that horn works? We'll be trying it out here in a minute. Turn signals work on both sides. Tilt column. It goes up and down. AC. Yeah, we'll be chilling. Radio works. Tell you what, the AC is not quite blowing through these vents. It's very subtle through there. A lot through the dash here, but it is cool. It's cool air coming out of there. So AC is work. It's really blowing cold down here on the floor. So it's got a mix. Gas gauge is about half a tank. We'll be stopping and getting fuel. Last but not least, did you place your bets? That works good and it's very loud. Let's go ahead and hit the road. I bet you this one's gonna drive good. All right, <laughs> we're gonna take off, go to lunch. My wife's with me today. Uh, we got our seat belts on. We're ready to roll. Anything I see, we will let you know. Let's go. This thing is ultra smooth. A little bit of a squeaky belt. You do got AC so we can cool off a little bit. I think we good. Scared. Might as well roll the window up. So we're rolling down the road here and it's going absolutely straight. Feels like a cloud, doesn't it? Feels like you're driving a couch. <laughs> <laughs> it is a couch. Like couch. Speedo's wrong though. It says we're going 55. There's no way. Kick down, hooked up. She's no race car, but it did shift down. Brakes, they're stopping good in a straight line. That's always good. We got both turn signals. We have no slack in the steering. Gas gauge, I believe it works. It's the first warm day we've had in a while actually benefit from the ac this time which is funny because monday it was like 30 degrees police got him got him today will probably be a little bit longer of a test drive because we're going to eat somewhere and we haven't figured that out yet Keep on cruising here. So we'll probably end up on the other side of town. 
try to pick something out because this car drives like a new one it is very smooth and I have no complaints So we're gonna find ourselves a gas station. I'm still gonna put about $20 worth of fuel in here. But we finally get to go to a different gas station. <laughs> what about La Coya? La Coya. Ooh, that good. Does that sound good? Yeah. That's a place we have in town you can go eat. Down here on the lake. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and skip to the gas station scene. This thing is just running awesome. You got a nice cold AC, everything works. And she's smooth. I'll see you here in a minute. Okay, I ended up putting like $30 worth of gas in this one. Got to talking and uh, put a little bit more than normal. Let's put the gas in right here behind this tag. Let's go check it out. I bet it's almost full. About $28.75 for seven gallons. That's premium gas too. It's like $4 a gallon here right now. Let's see, so that's what it was like when we pulled in. And then once I start her up here, Oh yeah, she cruising. and that gas gauge works. Let's go ahead and take off. Okay, let's roll out of here. You ready? Still nice and silky and running good.
gonna head around here. We'll end up hitting that back road where we normally go to do videos. And of course, after this, once we get back to the lot, we're gonna be doing a walk around. And that's where I point out chip scratches, any kind of uh, defects on the paint and interior. This is definitely the nicest day of 2022 right now in Tennessee. It is beautiful out here. I wish I didn't have to drive my truck. I wanted to drive my car so bad, but we just moved. We finally got settled in and the trash is enormous. The amount of boxes we've been through. So I had to drive the truck in so that I could recycle some of it and throw some of the trash away. get on the brakes real good see how far we can throw her <laughs> <laughs> see if well, that looks good <laughs> they work great they really do the seat belts are like new everything in this car is like new hold her to the floor she's not super fast i mean definitely climbing definitely got a good pickup i mean look how fast we're coming up on them but this is no race car, this is a cruiser. Imagine hitting a jump in this car. I feel like you landed in a pillow. <laughs> Shink. <laughs> I don't even think they make cars this smooth nowadays. No. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally around the corner from the car lot now. So once we get back there, like I said, picking out the flaws segment of this video, not only do we offer that we have the 100 detailed pictures that i want you to see all you do is go to maplemotors.com that's where we update every monday with new cars and hit detailed pictures so you click on this car or any car that you're interested in and as soon as you do that it'll pop up four pictures or right above that it'll show the 100 detailed so be sure not to miss that when you go to the site we have made it back to the lot We'll go ahead and pull in here. I'll have to jump out and move that cone. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> and guys, I do appreciate you watching. Oh, let's see here. Make sure I get that seat belt on there. Thanks again, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, getting ready to walk around this ride, look for chips, scratches, flaws, anything I can find. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com and we'll go ahead and get started here. We'll start up in the front. That front bumper is nice and clean. Even the trim around there looks good. Come back. Do got a few imperfections here on the paint. Looks like some sap or something. You got a chip here, chips. little spot there all the chrome's looking okay it's not perfect but it does look pretty good 
little spot there also a couple chips up here on top coming down this lower portion here a little chip there some on the side the tires are in great shape the chrome trim down on the bottom looks pretty good up and over you got a nice little chip there the stripes look pretty good as her hand done down here at the bottom looks pretty good on the chrome up and over you got some more of that striping going around the car actually looks really good light scuffs right here on the corner down that lower portion there you got some road grime popping up on that rear bumper a little bit of haziness here on the edge and if you look so there's a blotchy looking spot here where it's been painted probably a touch up you can see how it's two different colors there just a little bit off and as you come down the middle the middle of that door right there it's two different colors here or it's off let's keep walking backwards got a light little spot there it's that whole door all the way up to about right here and then it fades back into the same color until it has been repainted nice scratches here that may be why it was repainted somebody may have got us got a into a mailbox or something little scuffs here of course coming across that top portion you've got some light chips that you can see popping up on that fender front windshield on this one looks great nice and clean along with the trim and the pillar the pillar's in good shape too over the roof not bad at all window pretty clean all the trim around the window there is good slight little dent there really small trim around the back window is not bad at all your vinyl top here i'm not feeling any bumps and it's very clean somebody really took care of this car coming up on the rear here the bumper on the back you got jesus on the back here coming around You got some pitting on the chrome. Nice little spot there in the rear by the tail light. A few little chips down there below it. Nice little chip here and there. Also on this top portion and the bottom here. I'd say they were getting the stuff out in and out of the trunk, but maybe scuff that knock those chips in it looking around the seal there man it's in good shape all the jams are nice and clean the carpet in the trunk is new or at least it's like new it looks good looking up underneath it very solid good solid trunk there you got your spare, you got your jack, your panels here. Just kind of looking around all the edges. Then we'll go ahead and straighten this back out a little bit. Yeah, we'll do it later. <laughs> Coming down with this, the edge of your trunk has got the striping as well. It looks pretty good. They did that cleanly. Some little burns there where it's been buffed at some point. And she locks up easy. The trunk has a little bit of a tint, different color too. It's from the fenders. You see it on this side as well. A little bit different. Coming down this portion, lower portion first, back to midsection. You got a little chip in the corner here. Also, looks like some road grime there. A little scratch on this side. Bump it over. Little bubbles popping up right there. 
on the edge down here at the bottom you got some like scratches some more right here and here a little chip there a little chip here in the front back that midsection it's got a few little imperfections there really small stuff spot in the middle of the door there light scuff here that will come off you got a dent right here you see it pop up in the video there coming around the top of the stripes got a few chips right there on that edge I like filling all the edges under a vinyl top just to see if there's any bumps or anything starting to form. Russ likes to get up under these. Um, if any kind of water gets trapped in there, a lot of times it'll start doing that. The windows on this one are nice and clean. All the trim looks pretty good. How's this mirror? A little scratch there, but other than that, pretty good shape. Front windshield looks awesome up. Your pillar. You got some blotches right here little sunspots that's probably from a bird stain the paint there back down the top of this fender okay let's go ahead and check out the interior we'll get her started up coming up on this door panel that looks really nice you got a little bit of chrome trim there that kind of fell off but that's normal this panel looks great. Your seal looks good around your door. Looking up under the bottom of it, it looks like it's in good shape. There's solid, solid jams. Carpet is in great shape. The trim around your doors look pretty good. You got a little bit of overlay there. Look at the couch we have in here for a seat. Talk about comfortable. Steering wheel wrap back seat looks awesome package tray headliner even the light works turn it on she's running quiet Everything's sensitive. Turn signals popping up on the dash. I don't want to hit the wipers till I shut the hood. But we already know about that. AC. Pressure just kicked on. But it feels like it's coming through the dash here. And it's cold. Radio. It's cutting on. We got it on static right now. Yeah, so we're working tilt column fast window I mean fast I'm gonna roll it down my luck the doors will lock or something <laughs> felt a little squeaky Quiet motor. Insulation's a little sore. And the edges of the hood are solid. Comes down nice and easy. Looks like a little light scratch right here. That's 
it looks pretty good. A couple little lines there. You also got a couple of little of those lines right there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe. Go to maplemotors.com. Look at our financing and shipping options that we provide. Uh, we also have new inventory every Monday. With that being said, hit subscribe, share, hit like. That keeps me making these videos for you. I do appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Later, guys.